we enjoy netflix iflix um and uh, amazon prime etc as uh, entertainment uh, services but in reality uh we don't know or even if we know these are the content delivery networks or content distribution networks uh in couple of uh, lectures we are going to look at how content distribution or delivery networks are designed uh, what the what are these and uh, we we'd look at some of their advanced topics we'll start off with basic uh, concepts regarding um, cdns their definition the services and we'd look at state of the art content delivery network is basically a collaborative collection of uh, network elements and servers spanning the internet sometimes it is also known as ott service over the top service the content is replicated over uh, several uh, mirror mirrored servers these servers could be mirrored uh, according to any raid standard for example you might be knowing raid 5 um so the cdns perform transparent and effective delivery of content to end users by transparency what we mean is that uh, the user is not concerned about the location of the content because the content content could be mirrored and the particular delivery would be taking place closest to the uh, to the user or even farther from the user and then the effective delivery means certain quality of service parameters have to be uh, provisioned in order to do that the cdn components must collaborate with each other in order to have provide a better user experience the services that we could conceive for cdns uh, would be a request direction and content delivery service it means the requests from the users have to be directed to the most appropriate uh, cdn server the original cdn server or its uh, uh, cache uh, server so using this mechanism actually enables uh, a content delivery network to avoid or bypass congestion two well known examples of congestion are mentioned uh, uh, here uh, one is the flash crowds where um, a very a very well known website is uh, uh, accessed for millions of customers uh, through a hyperlink which is uh, provided as let's say an ad on a not so well known limited resource um, server so that a small scale server or small scale web server would be starved or it would be choked because it is relaying the request to that well known web server which has a lot of resources at its end then we have something known as slash dot a uh, slash dot is is a very well known uh, highly reputable magazine that publishes uh, content related to the advancements in technology so uh, there is something known as slash dot effect what it means is the users Uh, or the frequent um, visitors to slash dot website would get to know of uh, an interesting application or an interesting new service uh, because slash dot is uh, enlisting it or is mentioning it so that would result into an overwhelming response on the um, particular web service that poses a lot of traffic overhead uh, to it so it means request redirection to bypass congestion is a fundamental requirement for cdn then we have the content uh, outsourcing or mirroring or caching and distribution so this involves replication of and caching of content from the original server to the other web servers then we have the content negotiation if you recall back in uh, old days we had uh, something known as a service oriented architecture in which we had user agent service agent and directory agent so the content negotiation service is essentially what allows the users to have very specific individualistic experience by getting the content that meets meets its demand the most uh, then we have the management services which are required for instance uh, we need uh, to manage the health and diagnostics of uh, the network components we need to make sure we have triple a kind of uh, uh, diameter or uh, um radius services available and then the uh, co content usage has to be monitored and reported for better uh, service provisioning let's look at how uh, typical content uh, delivery networks uh, are involved in providing contents starting from streaming media to web pages to mp3 content then uh, 
uh, certain cell phone services like WhatsApp. We have remote virtual desktops. Uh, we have uh, thin clients like laptops, etc. All these contents and services are provided by different kinds of CDNs. The architectural components of CDN at very basic form include we've got users. Uh, then we have the user making requests to the request routing system, which in turn is going to refer to the user to a replication server. The replication server is nothing but a mirrored outsourced site for the original content coming from the origin server via a distribution system. And of course, we need a billing and accounting mechanism. So if we really want to understand the uh, existing operation and comparative performance of different kinds of uh, CDNs available, uh, this is a very nice paper. Uh, 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 it is actually a study on the active measurement for two um, video uh, uh, streaming services like Netflix and Hulu. Uh, what the authors have done is they have uh, taken uh, a range of uh, key aspects of uh, OTT service uh, platforms uh, and then um, they have compared uh, these um, against the streaming protocol. For instance, uh, uh, Netflix uses Dash and Hulu uses uh, real-time uh, uh, messaging protocol. And then the CDN uh, deployment uh, strategy, CDN selection strategy, and the user experience. So the authors have compared these Netflix and Hulu. Their high-level architectures are shown here in a typical uh, Netflix uh, situation. Uh, we've got the user making, making a request to the data center that subsequently makes a request to the uh, either the cloud sourced environment or is right outsourced to a dedicated CDN that provides uh, Netflix like services. So this is the general architecture of how Netflix works. Of course, Netflix has its own proprietary hardware and software and protocols through which it gives such a smooth user experience. For Hulu, uh, we've got a more uh, numbered uh, visualization. We've got uh, page request and then the manifest file is obtained uh, that contains reference to the CDNs, uh, CDN servers where the content possibly could be deployed. And then the reports are being generated on the usage of certain content. The papers that I've referred are uh, two. The first one is the lecture notes on ele in electrical engineering. It's a beautiful book by uh, Raj Kumar Bhaiya, Mukhtar Pathan, Makhdoom Pathan, and uh, well, Vekeli. This was published back in 2008. The paper that I've referenced to, uh, you might as well like to have a look at it, is Measurement Study of Netflix, Hulu, and a Tale of Three CDNs. It's a very prestigious journal, IEEE Transactions on Networking, back in 2014.